Well, the Central Missouri Humane Society cares for thousands of animals annually and serves 20 mid-Missouri counties. Ryan Rumba joins us live from the shelter in Columbia with some pets looking for a home. Good morning, guys. This is one of my favorite things to do. I'm at the Central Missouri Humane Society. We're hanging out with some animals this morning. I'm here with Colin. And who's our friend here? This is Benny. He oh, is, Benny's so cute. He is adorable. <laughs> um, he's a two-year-old beagle mix, and uh, he just looks like he really wanted oh. to come out and play this morning. So, If you would have seen us about two minutes ago, he was jumping all over me. <laughs> he definitely is a puppy at heart, that's for sure. Absolutely. He's a little dramatic like you know, most <laughs> beagles are, but he, uh, he'd make a great dog in just about any home. Yes, I have a very beagle learning. at home, and she is very dramatic, so <laughs> I definitely see the, the similarities here. Tell me what's going on at the Humane Society lately. You know, have been have, here in a while? Yeah, uh, we had a really successful adoption event a couple weeks ago with the furball. We had 43 adoptions that day, so mm -hmm. we're really happy about that. That's great. Um, our cat adoptions have been a little slow, so if anyone out there in Missouri is looking uh, to I'll get a new furry right. feeling, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, I was planning on sending you home with about 10 today. Okay, perfect. Um, but other than that, uh, we have some really big events coming up. Uh, dining out for animals, we had to reschedule it. It was February 5th. Uh, but uh, the blizzard yeah, we had threw a wrench in things. Mm -hmm. And uh, on March 5th, uh, it's our annual give, give back night with local restaurants. We've been doing yes. it for over 10 years. Uh, tons of restaurants this year are going to be giving back that day. And uh, so a portion of your uh, uh, sales ticket goes back to the shelter, including the Heidelberg, Room 38, Flat Branch, Sophia's, nice. Addison's, uh, Main Squeeze. So, you know, there's there's a lot of really great uh, local businesses wanting to support the shelter in that one. So go out to dinner and help some people and some pets. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, another big one is the Color Dash is coming back. Uh, okay. Uh, our big uh, 5K. It's Come a big, here. big color explosion. Uh, we uh, it's a 5K we hold in Stevens Lake Park. That's gonna be on April 12th. We had it in October of last yeah. year, and we had about a thousand runners come out to uh, Stevens Lake Park. We get 50 percent of the proceeds. That's awesome. This year, which is uh, more than hey. double what we were getting uh, last year, and uh, it could be a really big fundra fundraiser with the FUN yeah. part uh, really capitalized. Yeah. Throwing the color all over the place. Hello. I think Benny wants to go on the color run too. I think so. You know, <laughs> I think you'd do well in it. <laughs> How can people get more information at home if they want to come adopt Benny or any other pets here? Um, you just visit <laughs> cmhspets.org or Google Central Missouri Humane Society. All of our adoptable animals are up on our website. Uh, another great way to interact with us is uh, through our Facebook page. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we, we really uh, get a lot of information out there about all the different ways you can support the shelter. Definitely cool. Well, when we come back, we're going to see some other animals, maybe some different pets, maybe not just cats and dogs. We're going to check out what else the Humane Society has to offer, but for now, we'll send it back to you guys. Owning a pet is a lifelong commitment, but it's something that can be rewarding each and every day. Ryan Rumba joins us live from a local animal shelter with some furry friends that are looking for forever homes. Good morning, guys. We're at the Central Missouri Humane Society, and I'm with my furry friend right here. And I'm here with Colin as well. Good morning. Hey, good morning. And you've got a furry friend with you, too. Yes. One of many small furry friends we have at the shelter. Right yeah, now. so it's it's not just cats and dogs here, which no, is cool. No, absolutely not. Interestingly enough, uh, we've seen a big influx of small animals in the last month or so. Mm -hmm. Not only do we have bunnies, but we have rats, guinea pigs, even t we had a couple turtles come in the other day that are wow. available for adoption so it's definitely anything but just cats and dogs yeah we were talking maybe before going to a pet shop to get something like this check out the humane society first because there's probably somebody that needs a home absolutely you know what's interesting is i'm a big bunny enthusiast they're uh, so cute i know not only are they cute <laughs> but they're actually pretty smart too you can actually litter train bunnies which is something oh, wow. that you know, a lot of people might not realize, and That's so nice. it's a you know a great family pet, especially a good starter pet if you're not quite ready for the dog or yeah. cat commitment in your life. These guys are chilling; they're <laughs> loving this this morning. Yes, indeed. Um, so we were talking about a couple of events before, and for our viewers at home that just tuned in, what kind of things are going on here at the Humane Society? Uh, well, coming up uh, next week, actually one week from today, on March 5th, is our annual restaurant give back night, dining okay. out for animals. Uh, it's kind of been a community staple for over 10 years, and uh, luckily, we have a lot of really supportive restaurants in town on this evening. Once a year, they give back a portion of their sales to the shelter. Nice. So we have tons of great restaurants this year. We have the Heidelberg, Murray's, Room 38, Sophia's, Addison's, Main Squeeze, Flat Branch, Broadway 
brewery, tons tellers, of blues, tons of places. So uh, that's that's something we're uh, looking forward to in the next coming. And that's next Tuesday. Yeah, it's next Wednesday. Oh, March, next Wednesday, March fifth, one week from today. Perfect. So you can go out for dinner and help some animals out at the same time. It's an easy and tasty way to support what we do here. And you've got a fun event coming up too. Yes, we're bringing back the Color Dash, which is our big color run, uh, our inaugural run that we did back in October. We had mm -hmm. a thousand runners come out to Stevens Lake Park, and it was a great fundraiser for us. This year, uh, we're getting 50% of the proceeds. That's so awesome. It could, we could make a lot of money for uh, not only the bunnies, but the cats and dogs we have here at the shelter. It's mm -hmm. on April 12th. Okay. And you can find out more information on our website, cmhspets.org. And those are fun runs. Those aren't, you know, you don't have to be a marathon runner to do that, and you get to throw color on each other. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's just a big party. It's a family fun-oriented event. Mm -hmm. You know, it's completely not timed. You can walk, you can jog, you can crawl for all we care. Mm -hmm. Just have a great time yeah. and enjoy the uh, the great vibes. Now, if somebody's interested in adopting these bunnies, how can they get more information? Um, a great way is to check out our website, cmhspets.org. You can always um, just Google us, of course, mm -hmm. the CMA, uh, Central Missouri Humane Society, or stop in and see us. If it's been a while since you've been to the shelter, we'd love to see you. Yeah, yeah. And um, we've got the website and the phone number running at the bottom of the screen, too. Wonderful. And great. you said these are the only two bunnies that we have today, but you've got more in foster care, right? Yeah, we have more bunnies in foster care. And like I said, just a lot of small animals. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for instance, bunnies, it's only 20 bucks to adopt them. We spay and neuter them. We wow. microchip them. So, you know, it's it's really a great deal. I'll and see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking him home. No, these guys are so cute and they're well behaved. Yes. Well, in a little bit, we'll come back. We'll check out some kitties because you said you guys haven't had that many cat adoptions lately. Yes. So hopefully our friends at home will see these cats and love them. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys. Well, adopting a pet is a big responsibility, but giving an animal a home can be one of the greatest feelings. Ryan Rumba joins us live from Columbia with some pets looking for a forever home. Good morning, guys. We're at the Central Missouri Humane Society, and I'm here this morning with a couple furry friends, some a little more excited than others. And I'm here with Colin. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Who do we have here? Well, we have some Game of Thrones fans here at the shelter. <laughs> so uh, these guys are Jamie Lannister and Joffrey Aww. Baratheon. And, uh, <laughs> what names? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the good thing is you can always rename them yes. after you take them home. Hello. I'm glad you're not jumping around. I probably just jinxed myself. You said lately the cat adoptions haven't been too high here at the at the shelter yeah you know we had a really great adoption event a few weeks back where we adopted out 43 of our furry friends in mm -hmm. a single day and since then uh you know the cat adoptions have just been way down so i definitely want to uh, bring a couple of our feline friends out to remind everybody we have a yeah. lot of wonderful cats here at the shelter and they're super cute and while some people might like the older cats there are a lot of young cats here too so it's not, yeah, it's not yeah. all old grandma cats right absolutely. <laughs> absolutely and you know the good thing too about uh, cats as opposed to dogs is you know they're they're a lot less maintenance than a dog mm -hmm. you know um, so if you have a busy lifestyle um, it's a great way to have that companionship yeah. in your home yeah I have a cat and you know I can leave for a day or two and just leave her enough food and water and she she takes care of herself I'm sure she just naps it out the whole time very, very independent <laughs> yes. that's for sure yes so tell me about some events you guys got coming up here um, well, in one week, uh, we have our Dining Out for Animals. That uh, is our annual give restaurant give back night. Been doing it for over 10 years. Have tons of restaurants involved. All you have to do is go out and grab a bite yeah. at any of the restaurants. Uh, there's Murray's, the Heidelberg, Room 38, Blue, Flat Branch, <laughs> Tellers, Broadway Brewery, um, Addison's and Sophia's. So tons of different restaurants. Wherever you go in Columbia, you Pretty can, much, yeah. <laughs> you can uh, find some place. The majority of restaurants are hmm. participating that day. So just stop by our website cmhspets.org of course our Facebook page uh, mm -hmm. to get more information on that and you've got the color dash coming up which is a fun event absolutely the color dash is uh, one of my favorite events to be involved in uh, we had our first one back in October of last year and uh, it was a significant fundraiser for us but this year we're making 50% of the proceeds so it can be a huge fundraiser for the shelter but more than anything it's a really fun family event mm -hmm. um, you know we had a thousand runners last year and we want to top that with a a lot of new families this year come out and run and get a little colorful absolutely yeah, All the plenty of color to go around on that yeah day. definitely now these cats are a little different we were looking at their paws before what's what's pretty unique about these guys well these are polydactyls so they have an extra digit on their front How? paws which is pretty I've unique never and seen that before but yeah we, we see uh, cats of all different Yay. spades uh, here at the shelter mm -hmm. uh, for instance one of our older cats you 
you mentioned older cats uh, that we have uh, back in the shelter right now is a nine-year-old Maine Coon. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's such a wonderful, beautiful, unique creature. And even though it's, you know, an older cat, that doesn't mean that it can't make a great companion yeah. for someone out there in mid-Missouri. Definitely. Well, for more information, visit their website or their Facebook page on any of these dogs, cats, or small animals that you can adopt. Thanks for having us this morning. Hey, thanks for coming. It's always a pleasure. Yes, and we'll send it back to you guys.